and back on Easy Street for us. Did you get the option on that property? Sure. But I still don't understand how you're going to palm a ghost town off on the public. They're getting a break. I'm selling them the future of Gold River. With the coming of power and water, the desert will bloom. Land values will go sky high. All right, all right. Save the taffy for the suckers. What am I supposed to do? Get out to that little garden spot and open an office. I'll round up the prospects, collect the down payments, and ship them out to you. And I take them for the rest. constructed on a line that passes directly through Gold River. Hi there, Gene. Hello there, Bodie. You boys have a nice trip? Well, being a nursemaid to a bunch of cows ain't my idea of a vacation. Say, it looks like you've got a one-man real estate boom around here. What's it all about? Well, two city fellers come down here a couple of weeks back and offered to take this property off my hands. What for? For $2,000. First thing I'd done was buy me a new sky piece. <laughs> Put me back 50 bucks. What are they gonna do with all this junk around here? Oh, they got some crazy idea about bringing folks from the city to settle here. Well, crazy's right. Who'd want to live in a town that's been dead for 20 years? That <laughs> search me. Well, I'm glad you struck it rich. We'll be seeing you. You, but we're still living. What do you think this is, a speedway? You might have run us down. Oh, it's too bad I didn't. Is that so? Don't you think it would save time if you'd just help us out of the ditch? Yeah. Maybe it would. Get your ropes on this bus, boys, and let's get it out. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> kind of cute. Yeah. No. Uh, pardon me, are you going up to the ghost town? Uh, no, we're going to Gold River. Well, that's the same place. Of course, it ain't none of my business, but what you going up there for? Oh, my friend and I are going to open a beauty salon. Well, now, fancy a couple of girls in the liquor business. We're ready. OK, take it away. I sure feel sorry for them people. Yeah, they're in for a tough joke. Hello, boys. How are you? All right. How are you, George? Good. Remember, buddy? Sure. How are you, young fella? Hello. Boy, you sure growed up a lot since I seen you last. What are you doing down this neck of the woods? I'm down here to settle. Sold my ranch down south and bought a town lot in Gold River. What for? I thought you was doing all right down south. We're going to do better than all right when the power lines are brought in from Boulder Dam. Ain't you heard about it? No, we've been away. Oh, you fellas ought to get in on this. With every lot you buy, you get 50 shares in the Betsy Lee Mine, community project. Yeah, but the Betsy Lee Mine's all worked out. Oh, surface diggings, maybe. We're going to work it with hydraulics when the water's piped in. Going to clean up. Well, maybe so, but I think I'll stick to cow punching. Uh, that's up to you. So long, fellas. So that's how they're roping them in. Gene, what's a hydraulic? Don't you know? Mm. Well, that's a shovel with a handle on both ends. Oh.
Marines running away. Come on, boys. Reckon I'm done for, Jane. Couldn't let loose of the reins. Well, take it easy. Buddy's all alone now. No folks but me. Promise you to look after him. Grant! I will. Grant! You gotta brace up, buddy. Your grandfather wants you to. That's right, buddy. <laughs> can I do for you, sir? Are you the manager? No, but I'd be very glad to serve you. Well, I want to talk to the head man. Yes, but uh, Mr. Scanlon is busy. Did you say Scanlon? Yes. That's all I want to know. Up to your old tricks again, eh, Scanlon? Oh, uh, Andre, what do you want? I came after the money you took from George Harmon in that Gold River deal. What's that got to do with you? George Harmon's dead. I've just been appointed his grandson's legal guardian. I see. But why do you expect me to return the money? Because I've checked up on the Boulder Dam situation and they have no intention of running the line into the Gold River District. You could have been misinformed. I don't think so. The point is, you sold property in a town that's been dead for 20 years based on the guarantee that water and power would bring it back to life. Why take that attitude? Personally, I consider this project an excellent investment. Well, I don't. And if you refuse to give back the money, I'll expose you to every investor in Gold River. The answer is still no. These people won't take your word against mine. Well, we'll see about that. I sure do thank you, too. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, hello, Gene. Now, look at what I bought myself. A lot in Gold River. And the man was so nice, he threw in a hunk of the Betsy Lee mine to boot. You what? I'm a property owner. I'm going to start my electric shop. You mutton head. You got gypped. I ain't either. Star said it was the thing to do. <laughs> now you can give your pal Frog for reference. <laughs> Come on. Just wait till that's full of chicken, ice cream, and pork chop, and good cold watermelon. What are you going to use for ice? You don't need ice. This is a refrigerator. Ain't you never hearing of them? You just plug them in. The housewife's friend. Frog has got to hand it to you. You're a genius. Now, ain't I? Yep, you're one up on Edison. Where's his shop? <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you expect to run this junk without electricity? Well, we're going to have electricity. Sure you will, if lightning strikes you. Now, this proves what I've said all along. The power lines aren't coming anywhere near Gold River. Ain't you the fellow that told me not to believe everything I read in the papers? Once a chump, always a chump. Oh, I'm a chump, am I? Well, just look at you. Look what I invented. What is it? That's electric curry comb. Well, it's no good without power. Well, I got power. I run it off a battery. Hey, turn that thing off! <laughs> That's a curry comb, huh? Well, if you ask me, it'd make a better brand than I. You know what's wrong with him? He ain't got no vision. Did I do it the way he showed me? 
Yeah, I'll only make you loop bigger. Like this, see? A bullseye! I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Do you always go around trying to hang people? Yes. Well, I mean, no. You see, I was just showing this youngster of mine how to throw a loop. Your youngster? Oh, I had no idea you were married. He ain't. No, you see, I just roped this maverick off the range. He did not. He doctored me. Oh, I see. Well, what can we do for you? We have some very special offers today. We file your nails and spurs for the same price. Well, that's fine. I'll settle for a little information. How little? Well, how are you girls making out here? Oh, we can't complain. Oh, yes, we can. Patsy. Well, the only customer we've had is Mrs. Rain in the face, and she paid off in beads. We can't expect much business until the power lines are installed. Then things will start picking up. If it don't get here pretty quick, we'll be eating cold cream sandwiches. <laughs> Hey, I didn't come in here for a manicure. I know, but I need the practice. <laughs> so business is really bad, huh? Oh, we didn't have very much money to start with. And after paying for this property, we... Oh, you're not interested in our troubles. Oh, yes, I am. I'd really like to help you some way. Thank you. I guess there's nothing anyone can do very much. you a dollar a paw, funny boy. How much? A dollar a paw. It won't either. I ain't got them. Yes, it will. All right, girls, give them the works. three weeks, but stir up trouble. I want him stopped, and I want it done fast. Between Hank and me, he won't know what hit him. Go on out the back way. I just can't afford to keep on giving credit to you folks. Yes, I know. You've been very patient. But conditions are bound to improve shortly. Then we'll be able to pay up everything. 
Well, I reckon it won't hurt me to grubstake you for a while longer. Here's your order. I had it all ready for you. Thank you. And don't worry about your money. I won't. Poor devils. I feel sorry for them, too. What well, seems like they'd be better off, they'd go back where they come from. Maybe they haven't got no place to go or the bus fare to get back on. Well, that's right, but there sure ain't nothing for them here. Have you had to grub stake very many? About half the town. Well, figure up what they owe you now, pay it. Keep on giving them credit. All right. If you've got a hankering to go broke, it's a nice way to do it. Maybe I can figure out something before that happens. Fill this order, will you? Yep. So, this is where you are. Listen, son. You better hightail back to the ranch before Larry and Steve catches up with you. How do they look since they got their beauty treatment? They're just madder than a hen on a hot rock, and they're a land for your scalp. <laughs> Bodie, give me a pair of gloves. Say, you better come on back to the ranch with me and give up this gadget store idea of yours. Oh, you think so, huh? Not me. I ain't gonna be a cowhand the rest of my life. Well, at least you eat regular. Understand you bought an interest in the Betsy Lee mine, Frog. What are they going to use it for, dumping old razor blades? No, they ain't. We're going to reopen it, and we're going to have hydraulics and everything when we get the power. Looks like city folks ain't the only suckers. That mine was worked out 20 years ago. You better take Gene's advice and go back to nursing cows. Say, I'll pick up that order later. Come on, Frog, I want to see you in a minute. What's up, Gene? I haven't time to explain now, but I'll meet you at the Betsy Lee Mine in an hour. Where are you going? I'm going over to Betsy Lee Mine. Wait a minute, I'll get my coin and go with you. No, now you stay here and be a good boy. I got business to tend to with Gene. Place as any. Let him have it. Looks like you got him. Come on, let's go make sure. Gosh, where did you get it? My dad brought it down from the Klondike. It's been in the safe at the ranch ever since. What you gonna do with it? Well, that's where you come in. Me? Yeah, I want you to ride over to Quartzville. Hey, bartender. Set him up, will you? I'm buying drinks. Hey, everybody, I'm buying drinks. Come on up to the bar. What do you have? Well, just give them anything they want, but I'll take some sarsaparilla. Say, I'm paying off in gold dust. You ain't got no scales, have you? Oh, hey, don't mind, do you? Gold? No. No. <laughs> Come on, bartender, hurry up. Hurry up, bartender. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're spilling. 
in it. Well, don't worry about that. There's plenty more where this came from. Here's how, folks. Drink up while we're celebrating today. <laughs> Looks like you got something to celebrate about, Frog. Hey, dirt's been mighty scarce around here lately. Mind telling us how you come by it? Nope, I ain't gonna tell. It's a secret. I don't want to start no gold rush. Ain't you got no cold sarsaparilla? Sure. Come on, folks, drink up there. <laughs> Listen, I don't want you mugs coming here. Well, we... Never mind now. Did you get him? Not so fast, Scanlon. We've got to wait the right time for that. We found out something you might like to know about. Yeah, you remember that goofy pal of Audrey's? Millhouse? That's the baby. He's over across the street at the bar, and he's got a lot of gold dust. Gold dust? Where'd he get it? He ain't saying. We'll mighty soon find out. Come on, Brady. Fine rhythm is the thing, and seldom does a party end before somebody sings. Now, you know me. Yeah, I know you. I know you. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> All night, people. Now, I'm all right. Yeah, you're all right. You're a good fella. I'm a good fella. <laughs> You can see it. We'd like to. Uh, where did you get it? Uh, <laughs> that's my little secret. I ain't gonna tell. Hey, you bartender. That's just what I figured out. He's trying to get me liquored up, so I'll tell where I got this gold. But I ain't gonna tell. And I'm gonna get madder all the time, and I ain't gonna buy no more drinks for you folks. I'm going home, back to the hill, right now. <laughs> Better keep him in sight. Gold here. I checked on it. He's just dumb enough to strike a vein everybody else missed. It's been done before. What did I tell you? We've got to get into Gold River and buy back this mine. What are you going to give them for an excuse? We'll find one. Come on, we got to step on them. Come on, Frog. It's got to be 
Meet Scanlon's in town and tell the folks about the gold. Yeah. Hey, hey, buddy! Buddy, come back here! Come back here, buddy! Buddy, come back here! Come back here, buddy! Come back here! Buddy, stop it! Come back here! I'm pretty sure Scanlon's gonna try to buy back the Gold River property. If he makes you an offer, grab it. We oh, certainly will. will. Yes, but if Mr. Scanlon wants it back, why should Let we... him have it. Nothing will make this town go, only the power lines, and they're not coming in here. Maybe this article will convince you. Not within miles. So Scanlon pulled a fast one. Certainly looks like it. He'll be here in a minute now, and I don't want to be seen with you. It might spoil everything. I'll see all of you later. Here they come now. Good afternoon, ladies. How do you do? And how's business? Practically invisible. Oh, that's too bad. I'm afraid I have some rather discouraging news for you, too. The executives of the power company have changed their minds about running a line into Gold River. That means we're not going to have power and light. I'm afraid not. Well, then we may as well give this town back to the rattlesnakes. It's a great disappointment to us all. I feel more or less responsible having sold you this property. So to prove my good faith, I'm willing to take it off your hands. You mean you'll give us our money back? At a slight discount, of course. I've had to pay salaries and expenses, you know. Well, I think you're acting very fairly, Mr. Scanlon. Well, I have my business reputation to consider. Now, if you let Mr. Brady have your deed, he'll draw up the transfer and we can settle everything immediately. Uh, I'll go get it. It's in the safe. <laughs> I'll go and speak to the others. Go! 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 There's gold in the Betsy Lee mine. Don't pay any attention to him. He doesn't know what he's saying. I do, too. I saw Mr. Scanlon. And out to mine. They locked Froggy and stole some of the ore. Buddy, you keep quiet. Gina, I tried to stop him, but he got away from me. No wonder you tried to buy us out. I'll admit that I did. But I knew the water wasn't coming in, and you people couldn't work the mine. I was merely trying to help you. You lied about the gold. You're probably lying about the water. I can explain if you'll give me a chance. And you. You're in with Scanlon. You're both crooks. Helen, you've got us all wrong. Oh, no. Gosh, Jean, I'm sorry I did wrong. That's all right, buddy. You didn't realize what you were doing. It's getting to be right smart of a town now, ain't it? Yeah, but for how long? Sooner or later, these people are going to find out the truth. Well, I still don't see why Miss Higgins couldn't come to town for her permanent. Well, uh, you see, Morandi's a mite delicate. She don't get around much. Oh. Oh, well, a customer's a customer even if she does live in the next county. Now you sit there and wait while I find Mirandy. I'm beginning to care for the waves in your hair. And there's something about your smile. I'm beginning to care for the clothes you wear And your eyes have a twinkle worthwhile I'm beginning to care For the things you do I'm seeing the sweetness I looked for in you I'm beginning to see you everywhere, I guess 
I'm beginning to care. Very, very clever. Oh, thank you. Oh, not your song. I mean, that plot of yours and Bodie's to get me out here. I suppose Miss Mirandy is just a myth. Well, no, she's here. You want to see her? Well, I was led to believe she wanted a permanent. Well, I'll call her if you want me to. Hey, Mirandy. You are looking for me, Mr. Jean? Yeah, this lady says she came out to give you a permanent wave. <laughs> Quit your fooling, child. What I need with this wool of mine is a deep permanent. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hey, where are you going? Back to town. It's a long walk. You better let Bodie drive you. Well, I wouldn't trust him. You've got to believe me, Helen. That gold strike was a gag. You've told me all that before. I suppose this present boom is just a mirage. That's exactly what it is. It'll fade out as soon as these people find out there's no gold. How do I know you and Scanlon aren't working together? If he was out to cheat you, would he have grub staked you all these months? Hey, pipe down. What staked us? You and a lot of other folks would have starved if it hadn't been for Gene. If you had the brains of a jackrabbit, young woman, you'd know that he's on your side and you'd pay attention to what he says. If he tells you there's no gold, there ain't. I never thought there was. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Oh, uh, forget it. The thing to do now is to get back the money that Scanlon gypped you out of. But how? By selling him an interest in the mine. Oh, do you think we could? Work it right. You'll be in town for the celebration tomorrow night. So you need outside capital to buy mining equipment. That's right. And we're willing to hand over a substantial block of stock to the party who puts up the money. How substantial? 49%. How much capital would you require? Oh, about $50,000. Good heavens, man. The machinery won't cost anywhere near that. No, but the original stockholders are entitled to a profit on their money. Well, I just wanted to give you first chance. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Uh, just a minute, Audrey. Let's talk this over. Now, uh... Can't you get the stockholders to cut that price a little? Well, I don't know. After all, they're letting you in on something pretty nice. I appreciate that, and I want a slice. But sound them out anyway. I'll be over tomorrow. Maybe we can work out a deal. All right, I hope so. Bye, gentlemen. I wonder why Autry came to you with this proposition. Yeah. Tell Tex and the boys to run over during the celebration and check up on that mine again. Find out just how much gold there is there. I always like to know what I'm buying. Great pleasure to present to you, Mr. Harkness and Mr. Manning, representatives of the Southwestern Power and Water Company. <laughs> and also to inform you that the contracts guaranteeing light and power to Gold River have just been signed. <laughs> Won't you gentlemen say a few words? I thank you, my friends. I shall heed Mr. Martin's suggestion and say only a few words. For I know that you're all eagerly awaiting the real event of the day. When the closing of this switch will bring power by direct line from Boulder Dam. I feel sure that you all agree with me that the honor of closing this switch should go to the man who's made all this possible. A man whose foresight and industry put Gold River on the map. Through the rediscovery of gold in the Betsy Lee mine. I refer to that outstanding citizen, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Frog Milhouse. Go on up there. Who, me? Sure, you. Go on. Step on up this way, Mr. And now, folks, for the big moment. Frog will throw the switch. Throw it? Huh. I can't even lift it. <laughs> no, no, look, look, look.
Bird. Oh, so you're an expert with one of these things, huh? Sure, I took a postgraduate course with one of these clothes dunkers. She works third tub at the laundry. A rubby dub dub all day long. She's the prettiest girl at the laundry. Well, she works and she slaves for a song. I wash out his shirts and his undies. I know that it's hard work, of course. <laughs> In my third tub at the laundry, it smells like I'm washing a horse. I bring my shirt in each Monday, an excuse so that I can see you. I secretly wait for your bundle. Oh, I'm happy to know that it's true. <laughs> I love to fondle your laundry. Well, I wouldn't want that spread around. <laughs> you know how these things stir up gossip? Oh, I don't care since your love I found. Oh, she works third tub at the laundry. I rub feet up dub all day long. She's the prettiest girl at the laundry. Well, she works and she slaves for a song. Now I wash out his shirt and his undies. I know that it's hard work, of course. In my third tub at the laundry, it smells like I'm washing a horse. Come up to the mine, see if the boys have found out anything. Talk things over with the stockholders? Yes, they've appointed Miss Fawcett and Mr. Martin to represent the group. They'll settle everything with you as soon as the celebration's over. And now, folks, you'll hear from some of our local talent in a number specially arranged for this occasion. that song you promised us. Oh, yes, go on. Please sing for us. All right, you asked for it. Get up, Rico. Keep an eye on Scanlon and don't let him get away. Tis the end of our journey goodbye pinto we'll meet in the sweet by and by i'll be lonesome without you goodbye pinto 
While you're grazing new pastures in the sky You have a new range for there You'll be looking on a golden Somebody at the mine. I fixed the burglar alarm so it'll go off if they busted the door. Let's ride over there. trace of recent digging. Looks like Audrey's pulling another fast one. Get him up! Get your guns, bro. Good stuff? Yeah. That's cold ore. Keep those birds from getting out of here. I gotta tell Scanlon about this. We gotta get out of here some way and stop that safe. Yeah, maybe we ain't got time. We'll have to go to Quartzville to record it. Well, that tunnel right over there opens above the mine shack. Keep down low and let's try to get out. Must have got him. They're not here. They must have taken that tunnel. in that mine. And it was on the level. Sure, they thought they were selling you a pony, but we accidentally uncovered a lost vein. Hurry up and get those contracts signed. Oh, oh, Mr. Martin, if you and Miss Foster will drive back to the office with me, we'll sign the contracts. Certainly. I'll tell Miss Foster.
You keep on, and I'll try to hold them back. Make yourselves comfortable and we'll get right down to business. Oh, Brady, get the contracts, will you? Here they are. Now, these contracts are all the same. And will you folks look this one over just to make sure everything is satisfactory? Looks all right to me. Then we'll sign them. Right here. Have you signed yet? No. Good. We won't need your financial support, Mr. Scanlon. What do you mean? Because we're not selling. What are you... No! Get around there. Hello, Sheriff. Hello, Jean. You're both under arrest. Well, say I did, Sheriff. You're charged with complicity in the murder of Larry Higgins, formerly of the Autry Ranch. Come on. Here it is. You have to come over to the office, Gene, and sign a formal complaint. All right, it'll be over in a few minutes. Oh, boy, some fun, huh? <laughs> yes, but what's it all about? I had to stop you from signing those papers. There really is gold in the Betsy Lee mine. Is there? Yes, there is. Is there really? There is. 